we've talked about the 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 single issue books you know right. two three months ago they're fun books i've got a handful of them i didn't get them all because well i'm a loser but <laughs> i do have a bunch of them so tell me you know what was the idea behind doing the single issues that you were releasing and now doing a kickstarter here well, so initially, Joel Me Only started out as a webcomic back in 2008. And the whole thing was based off because my wife and I were laying in bed one time and she drew a little picture of me and drew a little picture of my friend Jeff and named him Joel Me Only and Jeffers. Because the fun story about how Joel Me Only came out to be is so my actual legal name is the letter J, my legal middle name is the letter N, and I'm the third. So my dad has the same name, so is my grandfather. And in the 70s, my dad was getting a social security card over the phone, and they asked him to spell his name, and he said J only, N only. And then when it came in the mail, it said Jolene only on it. So I've always thought it was hilarious, so we created this character named Jolene only, and then my friend Jeff became Jeffers, my friend Calvin became Calvarina. Um, and then for a long time, it was just a way for me to like tell stupid jokes and stuff that I found funny with these little characters. And then... Uh, at one point, I was like, you know what? I bet you I can turn this into a fun little, like, actual comic book because I wanted to print them. So I did two years in a row in 2015 and 2016. I did a 24-hour comic book day with these characters and did the 24 pages in a day, which was insanely hard to do, but I did it. Um, but then that made me want to do, like, an actual comic with them. So I went back through, and over the years, I've kind of, like, taken a lot of the webcomic jokes and, and ideas and fleshed them out into, like, I don't want to say a story for the first couple of issues because it's not really a story. It's more of like a, a loosely connected set of puns. <laughs> uh, but I put them into a sequential format and then I based, just decided that I ended up having enough material to make 240 pages, which is 10 issues at 24 pages a piece. So I broke them out into like little sections of stories, did the issues. And then um, at the beginning of this year, I actually started writing new stuff for Jolene and Only. And um, I've got 16 new issues done um, written wise and a bunch of them have like, actual artwork done. And uh, I've been racking my head about how I wanted to put these in print. Like I did single issues on digital, which was fine and they did well. Um, and I did actually print some of them up um, but out of my own, my own cost to have them. But I was like, I wonder if I could do a Kickstarter for this. If I do one, I don't really want to do a Kickstarter for each individual issue because there's a lot of them and it's only 24 pages of content and I feel bad doing it over and over again every month for a new issue of that for what it's going to cost. So I decided, well, I haven't broke, I have the series broken up into chapters, you know, chapters one is one through five, two is six through 10 and so on and so forth. So I figured let's do a trade paperback with some extra material, new, a new cover, some new art, um, do some variant covers and we'll do a, a collected book of one through five. And uh, oh, there's my face. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, Put it to a trade and do it that way. That way, if you back it, you get 150 pages, um, which is 100, 120 pages of content. And then, you know, like 27, 30 pages of extra material, which is always fun. This video was a lot of fun to do. I ended up just making little cutouts and talking to myself, which was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I can't hear you. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> There and I go. did that. That was my <laughs> fault. Look, I'm telling you, this is going to be a shit show for me today. Anyway, no, Perfect I think you should. Here. <laughs> I think you should give out these cutouts too. They're pretty awesome. You should make a whole bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> kids will love them. I know it's for 18 or up, but come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My Thinking... my kids love this series because it's all fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you're doing the Kickstarter. Uh, what is your your overall? I know, like your goal for the Kickstarter, hitting a certain amount of money to get these out. But what is the overall goal for this book? Like, when you get this out, does that mean you're going to put out another, or does it mean that you're going to do something else? Like, what what is it that you're shooting for here? So the goal with the Kickstarter is obviously to to put it in print and have it out there um, to have enough copies to uh, send out to all the backers, as well as you know. Uh, taking the cons that I'm going to sell out as well and then to go on to the next chapter because like I said I've got the first four chapters of this series done so first 26 issues are done um, and they tell some there's some after we get into it there's some fun story actual stories that go in that I use these characters for and it, these characters just allow me to kind of tread the water of insanity and uh, 
don't know. I, I don't think there's any other comics out there kind of like quite like Jolie and Only, but I also haven't looked for them. But I've been told it's, it's pretty unique. Um, whether it's a good or a bad thing, I'm not sure. But that it's unique. But the overall goal is just get them in print, get them out there. Um, I don't know how long I'll do them for. I mean, I know I'll do them for at least the 26 issues that I've written. But uh, if more ideas come from me, I'll do more. But I want these out there. And then I have other comics that I've written and worked on. And I have a novel that's coming out next year that I'm, I'm releasing. Uh, so a lot of it's just about getting my creative content out there because I've been doing this for 20 years and I've only ever released pretty much two books in, in 20 years. Everything else I just kind of did and then didn't do anything with. So now it's like, you know what? Let's go ahead and release these stuff and get out there. If people like it, great. And I'll do more. Yeah. But if people don't like it, well, at least I tried. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I, I think that's that's the best way to go about it. And you have done a lot with comic, you know, or comic related comic book related things and i think it's just for me seeing someone you know knowing you for the last what uh, how long has it been now five years six years I don't know, five six years, years yeah i don't know seeing you actually fulfilling and pushing even harder and harder i think has been great to to see over the years and i love seeing this even if it's not the one thing I always, I always like to tell people, like not every single creator is going to make something for you, but you should find a way if possible, obviously, you know, if you don't care for the product at all, but you know, if you yourself are a creator, you should definitely help out and, and, you know, put in like you see right here, support, you can make a pledge of $1, just throw in a buck, help them out a little bit. You know, every little bit helps, which I, I always tell people. And, you know, I myself am, am pushing. I'm I'm in the middle of creating my own comic with just ridiculously dumb things. <laughs> I'm going to see how that turns out. I mean, it's not as ambitious as what you're doing, but you know, I like to see that, and I like to to help push small creators uh, with their 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 creations, their content that they're making. Uh, but here's a you know some pictures of the of the book, and you literally have yourself in the comic strip, like. Mm-hmm. you don't see that in comics very if at all oh, yeah. <laughs> i show up a lot i show up with the characters because like the characters are very much self-aware that they're in a comic book right they know they're in a comic book and they talk about being in a comic book and reference pages reference issues and they like break out of the comic and come yell at me and talk to me about stupid things that i've made them do um so yeah, it's it's like i said i like to say there's no real rules with Jolene only because if i can think of some crazy way to do things I'll figure out how to do it on a page and do it. Um, just because it's like, it's really is like a true creative outlet of, of finding ways to do things. And I know the art's not for everybody. The art's very like cartoonish, vectorized, you know, move stuff around in Photoshop. But it's kind of like as uh, Jay Roach, a guy who's written reviews for almost every issue, um, as he puts it, it's like the art's not for everybody, but the what's good about the series isn't necessarily the art per se. It's the fact that these characters are somewhat endearing and they tell jokes and moral lessons and there's little stories and things you can learn and like kind of it's kind of like hanging out with your friends and all the stupid shit you and your friends say together put into a book format and here's, that's here's where it kind of becomes good the the art is better than rick and morty and rick and morty is as big as it yeah. is so <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that art, art is terrible that animation is terrible i don't like it but <laughs> yeah yeah but no yeah I, I, I get what you look at that shading on on his crotch there that's like perfect shading look at that yeah yeah <laughs> That was fun. I, I spent a little time there. <laughs> On everybody's crotch. Holy crap, man. <laughs> well, to be fair, everybody's pants is it's the same pair of pants, copy pasted and, and moved a little in color change. So it's just, I only did it once. And then I just oh, okay. there you guys it later, and then changed the yeah, color yeah. of them. Look, yeah. you're you're all doing it smart. You're doing it easy, as easily as possible. <laughs> is that oh, yeah. Everybody, hands all these characters have the same have the same body frame. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And obviously the shirt you change and the arms a little bit. Yeah. Like here you have to. Yeah, okay. I see yeah. it now. That's good. That's good times. But <laughs> I got. I got to tell you. No, this is. It is awesome. Like I said, I. I have. Uh, I think the first three, maybe four issues. I think yeah. I have. I don't. I don't remember what I have. Uh, I and I've read. I've read them. They're hilarious. Uh, before my life got crazy, that I was able to sit at my lunch break and read some of the read them during that time, which was great. So I do recommend it. I, I think they're hilarious. It's it is the type of comedy that I enjoy because it's just self aware. It's raunchy at times. It's just dumb comedy. Uh, it, it's that kind of stuff and. 
some people like it, you know, some people don't like you, yeah. you not everything has to be so serious all the time. <laughs> right. I, I was told that uh Joe Nomi is like if Killer Park Boys and South Park had a bastard child is what this series ends up being like. And I'm like, I kind of agree. I've never seen Trailer Park Boys, but I've seen South Park, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can see that. I've seen some trailer park boys. I can definitely see that. I, just the character dynamics. I can see the the trailer park mm-hmm. boys essence in there. Uh, for sure. But yeah, thanks. I, I, I want people to get out to know about this. I hope people listen, you know, whether it's on the podcast or on uh, the YouTubes to check, you know, make sure they check yeah. this out. Uh, Jonelynonely.com is the best place yep. to go. Uh, is it is that that'll, take that'll you to t- the Kickstarter? Yep. They'll take you right to Kickstarter. Jonelynonely.com. And it's just like only, only with the J and an N in front of each word. So it's yeah. only, only. Yeah. And I will have all of that in the description here momentarily once i pull it up and i'll get that in there uh anything <laughs> else you want to talk about here oh man um at this time not really but if it, if it, if anybody's out that's also an indie creator you know i uh am looking to i'm pushing as i always have on my podcast indie creators too so like when you do when you have your book ready to go man let me know we'll push in our our show anybody else out there you know hit me up on on twitter at y2cl and i'm happy to help push any indie books out there because i think indie books is the 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 flavor of creation you know Oh, for sure. Uh, well, the thing is, I mean, my my book is not going to be anything. It, it, it's <laughs> it's going to be like 10, 15 pages at, mo- at most. And it's just yeah. a bunch of ridiculous. Basically, the idea for me putting out a book is because I want to show myself that I can do it because I do have other story yeah. ideas I want to do. And this one here is just a bunch of stupid things that Colton and I made up while we were at a convention last year, earlier this year. We're sitting at the table and we're just sitting there like, man we make a comic and we just started coming up with ideas and stories and we wrote them down and now i'm just trying to get them all in a book so it's not anything it's not one it's hey it's still good yeah hey (laughs) it's still it's still something man it's still it's still a book it's still a comic it's still something yeah well exactly again it's it's the whole idea behind doing it and i mean i i don't expect to sell it for all that much once i do get it so we'll see though we'll see i don't know how that all works so i have to figure that all out but yeah Definitely. Uh, one well, last thing. Just go ahead and scroll, scroll, scroll to the top of this page real quick. Scroll top. And stop right at the top, right above that, down a little bit. Right there. So ending today, that cover right there is only available for today. That is the uh, limited, it's not a Halloween comic, it's a Halloween comic, it's a Halloween variant cover. Only available today. It's only $10 and there's only 20 of them total being printed. Um, and it's available for an add-on. So if you put, if you support it at any level, you can add it on for 10 bucks. Um, and it's at uh, later on this afternoon, it's going to be gone. So if anybody wants that, now's the time to do it. Awesome. And I have the link in the description. There you go. So go check that out now. Uh, thanks, John. I mean, awesome. th- thanks for stopping by. And uh, hopefully, you know, once once things get moving uh, on your follow up books, we'll have you on again for sure. Talk about those. So it's going I really appreciate it. I appreciate the time, man. No problem. Take it easy.